Morning. Bit foggy. I feel rain is imminent, but I hope it doesn't come. Jane's birthday. Now I don't know about any of you, but every time my kids have a birthday, I feel the exact same way as when I have a birthday of late. Like, oh shit, there's another year gone. Fuck, I'm running out of time. I'm time poor. I'm done with this lockdown. Have it up to there. Have it up to there. And you know what I'm gonna do about it? I've decided. No, it's not like do about it. I'm just gonna grin and bear it. I don't have to fucking enjoy it, do I? No, I don't. No, I don't. When that fog clears, I'll be able to see as far as Brussels. Yeah, you heard me. Fucking Brussels, get over here, I need you. You know what I think we'll do? Maybe a little question time. Would you like that? Would you like that, you cracker ass motherfuckers? Dave could he die? In my teenage years, I played the PlayStation and pulled my wire. In Greg's teenage years, he worked chainsaw every day. Chainsaw men are hard as fuck. If you don't believe me, start a row with one. See how that goes. You know, sound as they are, and everyone knows I love the lads down not bones, very sexy, beautiful men. Uh, if I thought there was even a snowball's chance in hell of them giving you a XC90 for half, not I'd fucking ask for myself, wouldn't I? I'm kind of a big deal. I could do it one. 100% absolutely yes. It was the pinnacle of BMW design. It's been downhill ever since. My favourite car. Ever. It is in Castle Ray with the Ponzi setup. Uh, me and Garrett are incredibly sexy loggers. Uh, this county was only able to cope with one volume of sexiness at a time. But we like to share the sexiness around. So Ross Common needs it too. If I wasn't doing anything got to do with logging or driving, love to have been able to spray cars and uh, bury stuff or a fluffer on a porn set it's where you suck lads off and wank them just to keep them hard for the main shots the main scenes oi david didn't know you were gay no i'm not gay just the money is savage for the amount of work you have to put in and yeah you might like to work but you know it's all about it's all about the money at the end of the day um, you know the difference between winners and losers is uh losers want to feel good before they do something Winners want to do something before they feel good. Take that to the bank. I am every day expecting that new van to drive into the wood. And um, it is cool. They actually did it like a boss this time. That's not my place to tell you. But when it arrives, you will see it. I will tell you this though. It is four wheel drive. <gasps> Have I said too much? There's not an awful lot of things in life I'm certain of. Uh, except that the only thing that's going to separate me and Vicky is debt. Because there's some games in life you don't get to play unless you're all in. And marriage is one of them. I feel. Just my opinion. Now having said that, if I come home some evening and without my knowledge or consent, Vicky has been spit roasted at the kitchen table while the kids are locked in their bedrooms while the dwarf wanks in the fridge, I would, um, I would have to reconsider and maybe sit down and have a conversation maybe a conversation had just went out the most essential process in the universe is reionization I am the reionization of the human race an essential no I don't actually know I get all my weather advice from the Carlo weatherman and I know what you're thinking oh, everyone in Carlo is fucking stupid no they have one clever person Carlo weatherman he is the weatherman Mr. weatherman Mr. weatherman what are you on about? Uh, it is back. The General Statistics Office have released data that women in Ireland are 50% more content, all due to the increase in fingering. Now, just answer your question. You're fucking welcome. Well, I don't know. I'll let you be the judge of that. Scientific studies have shown that any man that spends any more than 45 minutes with Greg within a distance of 2.6 metres will generate 50% more testosterone. So. Absolutely want cocks for fingers. Who wants to walk on the testicles? Come on man, get grip. Of course, given that I am a simple man of simple pleasures, it would probably just be a BMW X7 M50i. Oh. Ah! Lovely, thanks very much, really appreciate it. I'm so glad to entertain you every day. Unfortunately, the bank manager won't take this as payment, will he? No, he fucking won't. He won't take it. Go fucking buy something on davidcuddy.ie. Ah, well, you don't have to. At the start of my social media journey, I used to have an odd character, an odd skit that I do. 
as my page grew, they kept getting me blocked and banned. I even had a few final warnings. So they had to go. They were getting me in trouble. People don't appreciate my humor. I'm going to take my wife and my kids to somewhere far away from this county and spend shed loads of money in businesses that haven't been open in ages. And I'm going to do my podcast. I can't wait to start doing my podcasts. I want to talk to people face to face. My nephew Sean, he's a trainee forward driver and he's flying it but I went into the wood one day and he was wearing a tight track suit that didn't go past halfway down his shins and no socks and a pair of runners. And that's okay at the weekend but not in the wood Sean. Fuck's sake. Well without fail every single morning my alarm goes off at half four. And to be fair most mornings I do get up at that time but you know I do be tired and sometimes I say fuck it and I might get up to five, quarter past five. But most mornings half four. But most mornings I don't get up here till maybe six, half six. Because when I get up, I go down and I have a cup of coffee and I go into the office and I check for returns. People want to exchange sizes, maybe do a few orders, write out a list for Vicky if she's off, what she has to do that day, maybe go to the post office, you know, get some supplies. Um, I have to do a list out of what I have to order for more stock. And uh, then I come up to work, I do my day. Load wise, every day is different. Some days you get out fucking four load, and then other days you get out twenty. And then you go home, collect the kids, or the kids will be at home, get dinner, do homework, chill out, and uh, then back into the office, do a few more orders, stuff like that, and then go to bed and repeat again. It's busy, it's busy. It's good to be busy. Never complain about being busy. They'll come where we're all scratching our fucking bollocks, we should be at something to do. So busy's good friend from across the pond you have no idea how much I would truly truly love to do that um, you know black power America anyone with an interesting story and everyone has a story everyone has a story if we're honest enough to tell it that's the thing that's the thing that's the tough one that's the difficult one yeah of course I do wouldn't I be some fucking eager if I didn't when I have one come on now what I'm not surprised. In fact, I have it on good authority that if you're caught in the middle of a crime, the guards would just go, Go on, you're wearing a David Cuddy hat. Fuck up! Cunt and caddy. 08. Dual mass flywheels, clutches, gearboxes, shocks, wheel bearings, ECUs, lighting units. It was the biggest pile of shite I ever had in my life. Ever. Oh, please God, that's not on the cards. Ever. I have this little dream that I have it in my shed and my house and I'm tinkering at it at the weekend and driving it in odd time, so no. It's me and Clark's little thing. Please God in the future. Greg drives a Komatsu and you're always fiddling at him and fixing big brakes, so you need a big van. Ah no, what are you messing? Hey anyway, fuck Garrett, he's a big XC90 at home, won't that do it? Yeah, I'm a hundred percent indifferent about Gordon Elliott. What I am is totally sick about the persecution he's going through for Fuck all. So if you're one of those people that are disgusted over fuck all, fuck you. I think I'd be pretty happy in either machine. Um, as long as it's not a Komatsu or a Rodney, I'd be golden. Um, yeah? Don't mind. Ponzi's are sexy. Ponzi's are nice. I like them. Car is way cleaner than the van. Way cleaner than the van. Fair play, Vicky. Oh, fuck yeah. You're mad. It's twice the track for 75 30 was. And if you think any different, you're an eager. Don't be an eager. I'm sure there's absolutely nothing wrong with him, and they're probably a great machine. Same as an LV van is probably a great van. I just prefer a sprinter or a crafter. Do you know that that's really all? Do you know? Dietz is sitting in Greg's yard doing nothing. Like it always does. Now another time it used to work the low loader but the low loader's broken down. <laughs> Ages. And look hey, boys never listen to me. I told him to buy a dually but sure, you know. But he's not listening to fucking that. You on about? What are you saying? Look, I have 21 greys and I have 9 blacks. You're fucking spreading rumours about me, right? Not having hats. I'll have a few. I'll have more tomorrow as well. Maybe a few snoods. I don't know. Let's see. I feel that if I bought a farm, I'd be cheating. I wouldn't be getting into farming the same way as everyone else does. If I'd been fucking giving it for nothing. Someone give me a farm. Then we'll all be on the same fucking playing field. How about that? 
here I am trying to do God's work in Devil's Playground. I have business stuff to do. I'm like CEO shit. And yeah. here she is, down haunting me for sex again. Would you go away? <laughs> she she I came, came in. to sit down she with did. you. She came in knee. and she said, David, I want the big lad. <laughs> That's what she said. I never said that. <laughs> she did. I worked in Sligo in a while. Although the last time I did work up there, it was Tubacurry, Clooney area. But as young lads, we used to go up the whole time. Because it was an easy place to get sex because the women are all fucking sluts. <laughs> I'm only messing with you. Lily, you have to go to bed now. Come on. No. Enough. Is that the new book you got? No. I'm reading this one. I'm the new one. one. Show me the new one. The new one is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. The Cursed Child? Yeah, it's about um Harry Potter and his um, children. But Ginny... Then um she they um the woods uh, there's three uh, there's a girl called Lily and then there's James and Aldous um them two boys but one of them I think it's um James James um ha goes into slide Slytherin. No way. Yeah, and they all now they're saying that he's her. So get know. out of here! Get out of town! No. Get out of town! You get out of my room then. <laughs> <laughs> go on, go to bed. Now. Nah. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, Make sure you have a job to go to and then fucking leave. He may not be a prick. The two of you mightn't just gel well. So just make sure you have somewhere to go and then fuck off somewhere else. Life's too short. My daddy is never getting rid of his big horn. He's very attached to his big horn. I'm attached to my daddy's big horn. In fact, every one of us in our family are attached to daddy's big horn. It's going to be in the family forever. Do you like daddy's big horn, Vic? Love the big horn. She loves it.